I bought four microchip feeders for my cats because two of them are overweight and a bit aggressive when it comes to food. This right here is gonna fix it. By the way, that looks like cornflakes. Raisin bran, actually, to be precise. This is the current situation. I just use pie tins right now. I expected these back in July, but we had so many complications. So they're here now. Let's do this. Are you getting excited? You're gonna have your own bowl. Here's some of the info. I got them from SureFeed. This is not sponsored, just highly, highly needed. This is what they look like, and they come with a novel. Just kidding, it's in different languages. You only get this much. I just need to put batteries in it and hit like the cat Bluetooth button, and it'll pick them up. <laughs> Takes four of these thick bad boys. Like that. Dang, she bougie. Oh, very nice. All right, we're gonna add this cat. We just hit the cat Bluetooth button. There we go. And we'll just let her sit there for a minute. Oh man, we should've got treats. What is it? There you go. Did it connect? When she goes away, it should close. Oh my God, it just closed. I think I'm gonna cry. Oh, is it gonna open? Oh my God, it did it. We got one cat down and three to go. Good job. We're adding her leftovers. Ooh, baby girl, you're next. Let me hit your Bluetooth button. Did it connect? We got it. Yes, it opened for her. Okay, we got two down. This is your bowl, pretty girl. Uh, I just found out that pretty girl, my oldest cat, is not microchipped. I thought she was. I just looked in her paperwork and she's not. So I gotta look into that on Monday. But damn, do they be cute. I added this clear backing so that they can't get up all in other cats' business. I am so obsessed. I'm just gonna leave another, a few other bowls out of food for right now until I can get them all adjusted so they don't feel like I'm just starving them. <laughs> On second thought, I'm gonna actually leave all the doors open so that they can just get used to the bowl in general. And then once I get that figured out, then we can move on. <laughs> Pause real quick. Um, I just realized I didn't film Cocoa Bean, my fourth cat. So sorry about that. She got all scanned in, so <laughs> back to the video. This is the third day with the bowls being open, all the cats, have no issues with them. I get Pretty Girl microchipped literally in like 20 minutes and then we can start the process of introducing the door flap. <sighs> I'm excited. Guess who got a microchip? You are so brave. I'm so proud of you. We're gonna go ahead and get hers programmed and then I will probably start in the morning with the doors. I'm so excited. Have I said that like 80 times? Cause I'm excited. It is officially day four of having them, and this morning was the first time I turned on the doors. So they are currently on, um, and they were all eating it from this morning. I think it's just gonna be time to get used to their specific one. Look at them, they won't open. You gotta go to yours. It's specially yours. Oh, cat light. I'm gonna try to sneak in there, watch. <laughs> Psych. When does it become weird when you start staring at your pet so much? And so proud. We're officially on day two of the lids being closed and this is uh, almost three o'clock. So they've all eaten food. None of them are starving themselves. They seem to be functioning. Coco hasn't eaten that much, but it's dented. Obsessed. Welcome to day three. Of course, baby girl is starving because she ate all her food, but everybody else did so stupid good. I just filled them. Let's see if they can figure it out. I ain't getting anybody else's food. She tries. It's like a new experiment every day. Oh, look at her. She's like, get away from my bowl. Perfect. And you are rewarded. We jumped forward a little bit into the future. This is day nine. And they have all pretty much eaten their food. So now it's time to eat some breakfast. So this was a first. They actually opened the doors prior to me putting the scoop in, so that was nice. Otherwise, you have to hit the button to open it and close it. But it was nice that they opened it for me. <laughs> Bishies. Hands down, 10 out of 10, recommend. 10 out of 10! Hello! This is my final update on these cat bowls that I totally forgot was in my drafts. Uh, it has officially been about three months. It is February 27th. Um, I literally have nothing negative to say about this product. Nothing. I can't even complain about the price because it is a little high, but for what you get, for what you get, it's worth it. I love it. And I have learned that two of my cats are very, very big eaters <laughs> and two of them aren't really. 
and they eat kind of slow and the other ones get pissed because they can't eat it <laughs> sucks to me before i go let me see if i can get a word from our fellow uh cat hey psst. how do you like the cat bowl psst. Psst. anyway thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed my cat bowl journey i know i did right now because i remembered it <laughs> i love you guys bye how do you get hey psst. how do you get in here there's a lot of food in that one you know yours is looking pretty empty can't figure it out, can you? <laughs> you never win.